I forgot to record, so this is what. <laughs> Hey guys welcome back to my channel and as i mentioned <laughs> earlier in this video that i started out kind of late but um just because it was just so much going on it was hot it was just a lot of people in the room and i was just completely distracted but right here i only used two colors i used um the bh cosmetics modern neutral palette and i used the bright burgundy the light burgundy and the really really dark burgundy just to basically give depth to her eyebrow, I mean her uh, lid, that's what I'm doing now. Um, at first I wanted to do a cut crease, but um, she was mentioning that a lot of people were doing the same looks and she just wanted something really simple and cute. So I just decided to just smoke it out um, just a little bit, give it like that little um, halo effect with the uh, silver. And I used the Nikka K Perfect 40 palette. This is like the one of the older ones. Um, I'll, of course, put that in the description box. But um, yeah, I just decided to just, you know, give her something really, really simple. And um, she wanted silver. So, of course, I just wanted to give her that effect. And then I smoked out the, the lash line using the same exact palette, which was like a smoky kind of gray um color and i uh basically did smoked out the lash line just a little bit just so it can transition a little bit easier when i put on her lashes and please excuse my lighting um i was using my ring light plus natural lighting so it kind of you know threw off you know the, the effect of her eyeshadow and just her overall application but i mean it still turned out cute don't get me wrong So I'll be sure to put her uh, the last details inside the description box below. <laughs> and um, right here I am using NYX foundation. Um, I don't remember the name of this. This was her own um, foundation that she brought with her. So I'll be sure to, you know, put the name of it in the description box. But I mean, so far, I mean, overall, I kind of like this foundation. It was kind of full coverage. It was like medium half, medium half full coverage, if that makes sense, because um, it definitely covered um her hyperpigmentation without me color correcting even though i should have but you know it still turned out just as bomb as if i would have color correct but um yeah i mean i kind of like it it was full coverage and it was like perfect like i don't know if that makes sense i don't know what i'm saying <laughs> but um i'm using pro conceal in the shade toffee and just blending it out with a beauty blender So right now I am spraying her face using the NYX setting spray, the fitting matte, and then I'm going to press in all that spray setting in and locking in that powder. So right now I'm using blush. I'm using two blushes, which is Milani and L'Oreal, and they're both uh, pink, bright pink, very more. And then um, I'm highlighting her face using the Academy of, Col Academy of Color palette, using those two little gold shades. Thank you. 
lips are right now on to the lips and I am using this uh, dark brown liner this is just the off brand liner I got from the beauty supply and I'm just lining her lips um, of course I just did it <laughs> just put it on any kind of way but I mean I was gonna blend it out anyway so I didn't really care about how I applied it um, and then um, to top that off, I took the um, Urban Decay Vice Palette and I took the two new shades out of there, which is Safe Word and Kernel and um, gave her a cute nude lip. I eventually topped it off with um, another nude gloss. Um, I believe it's by Mary Kay. Um, I'm not, I don't remember the name of that one, but um, I'll be sure to put it in the description box below. Isn't she gorgeous, honey? Yes, girl. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching this tutorial. Hope that you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Comment in the comment section. You guys know I love seeing and reading you guys' comments. And feel free to subscribe before you guys leave.